can fruit ferment in the fridge. As you might know as a home brewer or alcohol enthusiast, alcoholic fermentation basically happens when you add sugar to yeast. The yeast consumes the sugar and leaves ethanol, alcohol, and carbon dioxide. This is what makes alcohol we use for consumption. The same thing applies to fruit fermentation. The difference is that most, if not all, fruits can do this process on their own. Explanation How Fruit can naturally ferment on its own, and this sometimes occurs on accident with fruit products stored in the fridge. Fruits have a high natural sugar content, as well as natural yeast attached to them. The presence of yeast in the air and the sugar content of the fruit can create a fermentation process right in your own fridge. This has been seen happening to fresh fruit as well as jam and other conserved fruits. Types of Fruit Fermentation When fermenting fruit, the process takes you three main steps. 1. Lactic Acid Fermentation This is the first step of the fermentation and is what is used to make non-alcoholic jams or chutneys. 2. Alcohol Fermentation If you leave your fruit fermenting for a while, it will naturally create alcoholic properties due to the yeast and sugar reacting to each other. 3. Vinegar Fermentation The vinegar state is what happens if you keep fermenting after alcohol fermentation. Perfect Fruit for Fermenting The natural wild yeast on grapes, for example, is perfect for fermenting. This is the reason why grapes are the usual ingredient when making wine, simply because it creates a natural fermentation process when you mash it and keep it in an airtight container. It's generally pretty rare for food products to ferment in the fridge. For fresh fruit, it can happen if, for example, you had a pack of grapes outside the fridge. A few of them got smashed in the container and you place them back in the fridge. This could spark a fermentation process since yeast from the grapes and yeast in the air outside the fridge may have latched onto the sugar of the mashed grapes and start fermenting. Don't expect to get drunk from fermenting fruits in the fridge though. While the example above can happen, the alcohol content in a few mashed grapes is extremely low. When making wine, for example, hundreds of grapes are used per bottle, so eating a few fermenting grapes from your fridge probably won't give you any type of buzz. Conclusion To conclude, fruit can ferment in the fridge, but if you're aiming to make alcohol, you probably shouldn't place your fermenting fruits in the fridge before you have at least bottled them. If you happen to stumble upon an old jam that gives off a quite pungent alcoholic smell when you open it, it can actually be quite delicate to eat or drink. So don't hesitate to give it a try.